Hello and welcome students. Today we are working on unit uh, four, lesson two for Python, and this is called getting loopy. Um, so the first one says write a function called pluralize words that will take in a list of words and update the values of the list to make each one plural and return nothing. Um, so this one is, you can see I have set up right here, I have the definition name, pluralize words, and then I also have a words list set up, apple, berry, melon, and I also have a second words list set up. Now we're pretty much just going through, saying the singular words, uh, printing the pluralized, or actually running our function with that pluralized word list, or I should say pre-pluralized or just singular, and then running another print statement. So to do this, we're gonna use a for loop as the uh, thing suggests. And to do this, the way I started was just by setting up a word index. So this word index is gonna be important when we actually loop through. It's going to start at zero because, of course, my first part of anything is zero, right? Um, then I want to say for word in word list. Now, the way that this works, the way this for loop works, and you'll see it in just a second, is that we use word is the thing that we are looping with and words list the thing that we are looping through, right? So if my word list is appleberry melon, on the very first part of my for loop, I am saying uh, for apple and then I perform apple or I use something like that and then I'll you know go through it and I'll use melon and then I'll use berry as well. So um, if I go down and I'm gonna go ahead and, and tab in. So what I'm gonna do is just a very simple concatenation. I'm just gonna say word is equal to word plus s, right? That will give me literally just the word and we can see I'll print the word right here just in case. So that way I can make sure everything's working properly. And I'm gonna say word list is equal to, um, or no, word list, and then I'm gonna give it the specific index that I'm working on, is equal to word. So here I am going to concatenate an S to my word. I'm gonna print it out just so I can see it. And then I'm also going to add word to word index, or the word list at our word index. So word index starts at zero, it goes to one, it goes to two, and then it quits, given our example right here. So with that being said, that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. If I click this and I click run, you can see it plays both of them. So my singular words for the very first loop are gonna be apple, berry, and melon. And you can see those play out right here. And then my uh, no longer singular words are exactly what they should be. Melons, berry, and melon. Actually, wait, we have kind of something a little bit goofy because it should be apple, berries, and melons. And instead it gives us a really weird, uh, a long thing. And I think I know why. It's likely because I don't increment. So here I need to say word index uh, plus equals one. And again, plus equals one is just a shorthand notation to say it's equal to itself plus one. So now if I go ahead and play, you can see I get much better results. Apple, berries, and melons right here. They are all pluralized. And I also have games, footballs, and sodas all pluralized as well. So that is how we do uh, the very first part. And I'm also going to do part two in this video as well. So for part two, I have my function, which is my reverse. And I'm reversing a string. So you can see here, reversed is equal to my reversed apples. So here I'm calling my function with apples as the input, and I'm just gonna print it out, right? Pretty simple um, example. And the way that I wanna do it is I basically want to start, and I think the way I wanna do it is start from the very end or start from the uh, last part and then work my way down to zero. So, um, and I'll show you that in just a second, but kind of the way that I'm thinking about it is that I want to start from the length of the string. So I'm gonna start with an index that is the length of the string. So I'm starting at that very last point. I'm gonna work my way backwards and I'm gonna put every single item from the last index to the first inside of my uh, inside of my list, right? So start index is gonna be equal to the length of it itself. And my new string is going to be uh, basically have nothing in it. I'm gonna say while stir index is greater than zero, uh, we're gonna do something. And basically the idea is typically we'll say while stir index is less than zero um, or uh, while stir index is less than a particular number, but this case we're starting from a high number, right? And we're going down to get to zero. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print out my um, string to reverse. I want to print out the positions as I go through them just because it's going to be very 
uh, important for me. Also want to add a minus one there, or you know what? We're going to add no minus one because that will give me a good idea in just a second. And my new string is going to be plus equal string to reverse stir index. And the last part is that I will say stir index minus equals one. And what I'm going to do, I apologize if y'all can hear my phone buzzing, is I'm going to make my stir, or actually, I need to return a new string. So here I'm returning new string because, of course, I'm assigning it to a variable right after. Uh, I'm also going to print out the reverse string at the very end, and I'm printing in this uh, string out as I go. So here, if I go ahead and click play, you can see the string index out of range. Now, as we're going through it, I think basically what it's telling me is that my stir index is too far um, because of course I start with length of string to reverse. So the reason this isn't working is because if you have a, a length or let's say you have a string where it is five long, right? It has five letters in it. It goes from zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Or sorry, zero, one, two, three, and four because of course our index is always start at zero. So when I print len, len is going to be five. And here I'm going to print that out so you can see it. Uh, the length of my string is, and we're going to go ahead and concatenate a stir of stir index. So what I need to do is we'll go ahead and click play and we'll watch this work. The length of my string is six, so you can see it's it's working. But the issue is I need to do stir index minus one because there is no sixth index position, but there are six items. So now if I do that to be minus one for both of these, we should go ahead and see that my code works. So here the length of my string is six. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six elements. And my final item is reversed. It is now SELPA instead of apples. And that is how you complete part two of lesson 4.2. And that is both parts. So I hope you guys have learned a little bit about uh, loops. And I hope I see you in the next video where we're looking at even more loops inside of unit four. Thank y'all very much.